A room full of EOP is also marked by the intensity of commitment and the intensity of purpose to the work that we do. And not just the work that we do, but the outcomes that we strive for in our efforts. This room is full of passion. And where does that passion play out? It plays out right here, right now, at the EOP 50th anniversary, 2019. Each generation has an opportunity to fulfill its legacy or betray it. From Humboldt all the way down to San Diego, what is the legacy I have been blessed to inherit? When you go and you talk to your senior administrators, when you talk to your faculty, when you talk to the students, when you talk to the folk, you talk to them and you ask them the question, have I fulfilled or betrayed my legacy today? And if you can do that, then we would never settle for the condition that we are in educationally in this state as we sit here today. EOP is not just that place where we come to get some momentary comfort, where we come to feel good. They got some coffee and hot chocolate for you when it's cold outside. Heck no. We come to get you in, get you through, and help you thrive when you get past. Why? Because you got work to do. You got a debt you owe. And let us celebrate the sacrifice that all the elders in the EOP program made so that we could occupy this sacred space in time. EOP opened up the opportunities and the gates for people who otherwise yes, would not have been admitted. And it was not admitted, not because they weren't the smartest or the most capable, but they just were not given the opportunity. And that really has drove me to kind of continuing to see EOP as a focus for if you give people the opportunity and the chance, then they can take it from there. But we have institutions that deny that opportunity and it's for up, that's to us, to open the doors to make sure that opportunity is given to others. The Educational Opportunity Program brought to my life hope, a feeling, but also a way of life. A way of life that illuminated paths that I long traveled in darkness. I've met some of my closest friends, now family, numerous mentors who are there for me in both my pain and accomplishments. I know that I can always depend on my EOP family to offer genuine support and love, even when everything else is in chaos. Growing up in the foster care system, I was constantly received negative remarks from social workers and grade school teachers, such as, you will never amount to anything. Thanks to EOP, I defied the odds. This would have not been possible without my EOP family who have given me immense support. EOP has become my family that I never had. Our EOP's innovative and groundbreaking student support services, many of which have become best practices throughout the CSU, indeed throughout the nation, including cultural sensitivity, the holistic advising, the support of a smooth transition from high school or community college into the four-year university, the acclaimed EOP summer bridge program, and developmental coaching through graduation. Many, you know, to be honest, we've stolen all the good ideas from EOP. So we're going to rename the, the uh, Grad Initiative. So we're going to rename the Grad Initiative 2025 to the Stolen from EOP Grad Initiative to 2025. We must not let fear or hate divert our continued drive toward inclusive excellence. More than ever before, these Californians need your talents, your vision, your compassion. They are listening for your collective voice. What will they say? If you do not know your history, you do not know yourself. If you do not know the history, you may not know the program and you may not be able to feel it. Because the history explains that EOP did not start as a program. It started as a movement that became a program. The California State University Educational Opportunity Program, EOP, 50 years of continuous improvement, opening doors and quite literally changing lives. It was back in 1969, now many of you weren't even born yet. 
Yet when California Senate Bill 1072, the Harmer Bill, institutionalized EOP by making it a line item in the California budget. Since then, thousands of students' lives have been changed for the better because of EOP. EOP has given me everything from long-lasting friendships to amazing mentors that you can see here right in front of me and a great deal of support. Once I got involved, I just started to flourish and grow uh, spiritually, mentally, and physically. But most importantly, I built meaningful relationships. Relationships with people that not only wanted the best for me, but they wanted the best for themselves and they wanted the best for their community. And I know these relationships will outlast graduation into my career and throughout my life. I am EOP. I am being molded through the CSU system, and I'm a proud first-generation college student who is the daughter of immigrants and who has and is continuing to be guided with a program that uplifts historically marginalized students. You are not alone. You should feel empowered and inspired by the narratives you've heard from those who came before us, as well as the stories from our peers. I encourage you to keep pushing. It is hard. There will be resistance, but know we're making a difference, not only for ourselves, but for future generations, just like those who came before us.